I am Rob van der Bluim. I'm a doctor from the Netherlands and I'm currently the coordinator of the Track 2 project. Tremendous progress has been made in uh, the fight against malaria, but at the moment we have the problem that artemisinin and partner drug resistance has emerged in Southeast Asia and it's spreading. Um, so the current treatments don't work well. W work well enough in Cambodia, Thailand and Vietnam and we are trying to find new treatments. The Track 2 project is the second phase of the Tracking Resistance to Artemisinin collaboration project. Um, and we currently are mapping the current extent of Artemisinin and Parnadoc resistance in Asia and one country in Africa. And when we started this project, we already knew that Artemisinin and Parnadoc resistance exists in Southeast Asia and that it's leading to ACT failures. And therefore we have um, uh, created the Track 2 project to also be a randomized trial in which we assess the safety, tolerability and efficacy of triple ACTs. So the standard treatment for uh, uh, malaria is ACTs, which is a combination of an artemisinin, a fast-acting, uh, short-acting drug, and a partner drug, which stays in the body for a longer time. And triple ACTs are a combination of a standard ACT with a matching partner drug. The idea is a little bit like in HIV and tuberculosis, that by combining drugs um, in a combination for the treatment of malaria, the treatment might be more effective uh, in areas where artemisinin and partner drug resistance already exists. And we also hope that by deploying triple ACTs on a larger scale, for instance in Africa, India and Bangladesh, we might be able to slow down the emergence and spread of anti-malarial resistance. So the project actually just finished recruitment. We've recruited just over 1100 patients. And as you can imagine, this has led to a lot of data, over a million data points. Field studies aimed at mapping the current extent of artemisinin and partner drug resistance are very expensive. And one of the key findings in the recent years was that you can actually um, identify parasites that are resistant by looking at genetic markers. Um, one of the important ones is the Kelch mutation, and the Kelch mutation was validated in the first phase of the TREC project. Um, other markers for, for instance, paparaquin and mefloquine resistance have also been identified. So one of the key findings is that artemisinin and parnadoc resistance are clearly established in Southeast Asia. We've looked at the genome of the parasites, and we actually see that these genes all originated from Western Cambodia. And for a long time there was the suspicion that this was the case, and I think this study will really confirm that the resistance that we find in Vietnam, and the resistance we find in Thailand, and even northeast Cambodia, actually originated in Western Cambodia and has spread from there throughout Southeast Asia. Another finding in the field has been that parasites that are resistant to paparaquin are less likely to be resistant to mefloquin. And on the other hand, parasites that are resistant to mefloquine are less likely to be resistant to paparaquine. And this was one of the bases for the combining paparaquine with mefloquine in one of the triple ACTs, with the idea that parasites can either be resistant to paparaquine or resistant to mefloquine. Even with effective treatment being available, over 400,000 people die every year of malaria, predominantly children. So you can imagine that if antimalarial resistance spreads from Asia, to Africa, where most of this mortality occurs, that this will lead to tremendous increases in mortality. And what we hope is that by deploying triple ACTs in Asia, but also in Africa, we might be able to prevent or at least stall the emergence of antimalarial resistance. Even in areas where most of the ACTs are failing, our triple ACTs are fully effective. So this is an indication that once we confirm the safety and the tolerability of these drugs, that triple ACTs might be a very good option for the treatment of multidrug-resistant malaria.